Hey everybody, happy Monday. Happy Monday everyone. In this video, I've been wanting to do something for a while, and that is 13 reasons why you should go to the home improvement store for your aquarium. And so today we're gonna to give you 13 reasons why. So let's check it out. What do we got? First one is one of my favorites, super glue. Super glue. You wouldn't think you would need that in a fish room or if you have a fish tank, but you do. Why do we need super glue? plants, especially my favorite Anubias, you glue them to rocks and bam, you've got yourself a plant to take. And if you feel like it, you can glue your fingers to your tank too. I do that too. I glue my fingers all the time. All right, number two. Silicone. Silicone. Am I supposed to have the silicone? Well, yeah. I don't. I'm going to put it right over here over her face. But silicone, <laughs> super important. There's a couple different types that you can get and it's awesome. For what reason? Well, you can use it for a number of different things. Well, I, I use it for my mini stack rock wall, you know, gluing rocks to rocks. Uh, but you can probably, you know, can't you fix the tank with silicone? <laughs> you can fix a tank with silicone. You can also do plumbing. So for we have our wastewater system or our air system. We can use the silicone for that. Definitely something I like to have in the fish room. Number three. Rocks. 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 Yes, you can actually buy rocks at many home improvement stores. I've done and, that before. And they can save you a lot of money. And like, look, even there's some rocks. Like little bags like these. Lowe's happens to be my favorite. It's the closest. And they've got quite the selection. And yeah. FYI, their rocks are usually by plants and flowers this time of year. Very nice. Yeah, Just rocks to, are. <laughs> and you could get like the earth, like the... Uh, the earth tone rocks, right? river rocks, the smaller river, river rocks, and yep. even some larger ones yep. in the landscaping area. So that's yep. pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Number four is its cousin, sand. Sand. We talked about pool filter sand in a previous video. In fact, I'll put that in the upper right hand corner. And pool filter sand can be useful depending on your needs. I personally don't use it as much. I know you have not used it, no. but. You really can't go wrong sometimes if you want a 50 pound bag for like, what is it, like seven or eight bucks? It was like seven dollars. It's cheap. So it's a really inexpensive way to potentially decorate, aquascape. Yeah. Nobody ever says anymore, decorate your fish tank. It's all like, no, gotta aquascape it now. In my world. Okay, all right. I well, like to decorate. You can use little... sand for fish tank decoration, i.e. the substrate. Hmm. Number five. Lights. Lights. Yes, you can get lights for your aquarium at a home improvement center. A lot of times they'll have the four foot lights. In mm -hmm. fact, we have one in our Oscar tank along with a couple stingray lights. It gives, this particular one gives a little bit more of a yellow tone to it, a warmer tone. However, they have full spectrum lights that a lot of people like to use. They can be used for growing some low light and, and moderately easy mm -hmm. plants, which is pretty cool. And yeah. they are typically very cheap. Now you might not have a lot of selection. You might need you know, you might only be able to get a three or four foot light, but if you need that type of light, it's definitely worth checking out. Minimum choices. Minimum you're, choices. You're in and out really fast. That's true. You pick your choice. Number six. One of my favorites. Again, stands or racks. Stands and racks. Yeah, some people have asked where you got your stand from for, for your nano wall. wall. Jinx. Yeah. And we One, will two, three, show four, you One, two, three, four, five, that. six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You owe me a pop. I Something like that. I know, I've heard that like a number of times in That's the last two weeks. Yes, it is. You have to count, and then unless you stop me and I get to 10, you have to give me a pop or something. If you guys know what that is, can you please let me know? Thank it's you. made up. Anyway, yes, take a look at the stands for the Nano Wall. We actually got those from a home improvement center. We'll do a full review on those at some point when the Nano Wall is completely done, but definitely worth checking out if you can get yourself a nice, sturdy stand. That's gonna hold more than hold the weight of your tank per yeah. shelf take a look at it it could be a lot cheaper yep number seven <sighs> number seven totes for grow out grow out totes now not all totes are good for growing out fish because some of them have more of a little bit of a flexible uh, material to them but the totes that we use are pretty awesome and they are rigid now you can get these on amazon in fact i will put a link down in the description below at least so that way you'll have an idea of the the brand and then you can go to your home improvement center if you want to go there probably find them for cheaper but we do use 30 gallon grow out totes because it's just a lot easier and a heck of a lot cheaper than trying to find grow out tanks Number eight. Buckets. Buckets. You can never have too many buckets until nope. you have too many buckets. <laughs> but yes, 
Those five gallon buckets are super cheap at the home improvement centers. They can be good for cleaning tanks. What else are they good for? Well, I don't, I used to get the smaller ones. They're easier to, to lug around. Um, what else are they good for? Oh, well, when I clean my tanks, yeah. I have, uh, you know, duckweed and, and frog bit and stuff that's plenty. So, you know, you gotta take some of that out. So you need a bucket. Yep, and or if you're doing some aquascaping and you wanna put your plants oh, or yeah. rocks in there, right? When we, we haul in our aquascaping yep. from the garage. Yeah, I have lots of buckets. I almost buckets feel like, are great. Uh, you know, like, what's that character? Bucket man. All right, number nine. <laughs> no, I was thinking Little Red Riding Hood. You know, baskets it's over. It's Bucket Man. Okay, number nine. Um, well, this one's this one's yours. It is. Yeah, because it's probably the I, best one. I wouldn't I wouldn't suggest it, but you would. Okay. Paint for the back of tanks. Hey, I have done a video on how to paint tanks. I'll put that over her face once again. But yeah, it's. You can save so much money and you don't have to worry so much about the water. You know how sometimes you use the paper backgrounds and it starts yeah. to fold the paper over. You get okay. water spots in between the background and the glass. You can change it. You can, but with paint, you don't have to. You can just paint those bad boys black and then they're done yeah, you forever can't and ever. It. That's right. We like to stick with permanent solutions. Permanent solutions here. Only. Outside of this wall. Yes. In the nano. Number the 10. Nano polycarbonate ha huh. who knew polycarbonate you need that in your life let me explain why a lot of tanks need lids in fact we did a video about how important it is to have a lid on your tank but it can get expensive especially if you've got an odd size tank or maybe you're starting to get a lot of tanks and you go to the dollar per gallon say like oh yeah i just bought 10 20 gallon longs but now you gotta buy 10 cap. yeah now you gotta buy 10 lids well, the polycarbonate can really help save a lot of money. It's durable. You don't have to worry about breaking it, especially if you've got little kids. You don't have to worry about broken glass or anything like that. They're lighter and they let a lot of light through. So definitely a cool thing to check out at your home improvement center. And you can cut them, like cut it little food holes. Yes. Like feeding holes. Yep, you can customize them to your needs. Mm -hmm. Number 11. It's fun. Salt. 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 We did a video on salt. Wow, we did a lot of videos on these things. Uh, but anyway, the Solar Naturals, not, don't just go there and pick any type of salt. Be like, yep, they said I could just get salt and dump it in my tank. And then all of a sudden you realize that salt may not be good for your tank. But we do have salt, Solar Naturals, it's pure salt. And you can buy, what was the big giant bag? Because you actually had to go and get that a while back. And it Oh was, yeah, that was, that was heavy. Yeah, but how much was it? Like a few bucks? It was, it was really the same, I think, as the sand. It yeah, was like so seven dollars. Seven, seven or eight dollars for a big, heavy bag of I don't know if it was like twenty-five pounds or thirty pounds, but it was a lot of salt hey, for not right, a lot of money. Sand was heavier. I yeah, remember sand, sand was, was fifty like, pounds. Mm -hmm. Okay, number twelve. Wire brushes, sponges. Hold really on, I have to go demonstrate. I'll be right back because I forgot the wire brushes and sponges. Oh, that's my favorite, though. I know that's why I feel bad. Oh wait, here and look. Here. Here's the silicone. Oh. Silicone. Okay, here. Here, this one's my favorite. And FYI. I like this one. Oh, actually, you know what? No, this is no, my favorite. This one's mine. Because actually, so here's the cool this thing. Bad. So why would you use that? Because that's, that's that's actually like a real wire, like metal wire brush. What do you yeah. use that for? This. All right. Say you have a tank and it doesn't look so good. And you have some rocks and they used to be white or gray or brown. Now they're green and you use a brush like that and nothing happens and you get really aggravated use this bad boy it'll come right off do you want to know who i learned that from me no eli oh our, our 12 our year old one. he's like hey mom use this you're gonna love it and i was like what this is amazing big rocks Ooh, this is ugly but big rocks but now let me show you something because this is actually really cool too these brushes really work these are not wire metal uh, and so they're a little bit more gentle. So you can use these like on the corners of your glass, on your oh, fish yeah. tanks, the lids. So especially like, you know, when you get the food that kind of gets stuck on the lid, you can kind of scrape that off. Or sometimes what I really like to use this one for, especially, have you, ever fed your, have you ever fed your tank and you get little pieces of flake food like on the actual rim of the stand? Not me, because I do it really carefully. Well, I don't. And so sometimes that stuff gets on the stand itself, like right on, right by the fish tank. You can just kind of scrape it off because after it's been there for a little while, it's really difficult to remove. Is it? I wouldn't know. Well, I do. And here's your solution. Thank goodness for that. And then I like this one just because it's different. Okay. Number 13. This is the last one. 13 reasons why. Oh, 
terracotta pots. Terracotta pots. For caves and whatnot. For caves and whatnot. Yes, terracotta pots for all you cichlid lovers out there, or maybe you've got some plecos. Those are great spawning areas. The nice thing is they're earth tone, and so they don't okay. totally make your tank look horrible. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty cool. And they're super cheap, and they're way cheaper than a lot of the store-bought decorations. So True. the nice thing is they have a hole on the other end as well. Yeah, that's good too. The best thing about it is if maybe you want to get your wife involved in the hobby, and she's going to be going to the home improvement store to see like Lowe's and, and it's time for flowers outside. You'll be like, hey, can you grab some pots for me and pick yourself up some flowers while you're at it? Yeah. And Big then you don't even have to go to the store. That's a it's a win, win, win. Yeah. So those were 13. the 13 reasons why you should be looking at your home improvement center for fish tank stuff. Mm -hmm. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And we will see you next week. See I will, you. I'll, I'll see you next week. You'll see him on Wednesday. And Saturday. And Saturday. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.